Good morning. Morning. Oh, listen to you. Uh, that ain't a Bronx accent. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's from Newark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are you this morning? I'm really good, thank you. How are you? Good. good. Are you the one who comes up with the final decision on who's the sexiest man alive? I wish I made that final decision, um, but um, I don't make the final decision, but I'm involved in the whole process of trying to figure out who it's going to be. Yeah, and how does that process work? Do they have to come before you shirtless? <laughs> really good idea for next year yeah it is that is yeah it is that puts me out of the running by yeah, the way definitely yeah, we have a lot of fun with that uh-huh. um, well, we're always thinking about it throughout the year everyone has their suggestions and um you know we see who you know everyone's going gravitating towards mm-hmm. oh and then but do you do it by secret ballot like the pope or do you all just talk Why, about what, it? What do you got to bring the Pope into well, this Well, just, you for? know how they elect, when there's a big election, yeah, this well. is, yeah, like, how does it work? Do you just talk Everyone about it? Everyone has their opinion, but when it comes down to when we finally decide who it's going to be, only very few people at the magazine actually know. Oh. Yeah, and so for people who missed it, the uh, sexiest man alive this year is Chris Hemsworth, right? Yes, Chris yeah. Hemsworth. Yeah. And, you know, he is really, really sexy, but he's also a family man, which I like. I think that's what it is about him, too, that really comes across. I mean, when um, he walked it into the, the photo shoot and you see him and you think, okay, I understand why you're Thor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then when you sit down and talk to him, it's so refreshing to hear him talk about his wife and his kids. He drives around in a Volkswagen. He's kind of an all-around guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Listen, and- Antoinette, let me give you a little uh, tip. Don't uh- be fooled by guys like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, why off would like you all, say that? Yeah, I'm just saying, yeah. don't be fooled by guys like that. Mark's just jealous. But let me tell you, you know, do you ever, are they always celebrities? I mean, I, I think one time you had regular people that were sexy, like dads and things. Because my co-host, and I, and this is weird coming Stop. from me because I'm not nice to him ever, but he looks like George Clooney. No, He's, I don't. I, yes, he does. I don't. Uh, maybe a little older George Clooney. You but, know what's <laughs> really interesting? In the magazine this year, we have a section about sexy civilians. Oh. So it's like we've got a sexy sexy scientist, a sexy model, but now that you say that, I mean, I think there could be something about, you know, DJs who resemble yeah. celebrities. Let yes. me let me tell you another, let me give you another tip, Antoinette. Uh-huh. There yes. aren't any DJs that resemble celebrities. <laughs> No, he they, does. They, there's a lot of DJs that look like guys that you see on mug shots. Oh. <laughs> you know. Oh. And, and speaking of that, what about that? There's two guys that um, had the mug shots this year and it went viral. Yes. 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 And there's a second one now. Yeah, the sexy yeah, mug shot guy. Them, see? Yeah. 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 Was the sexy mug, mug shot guy even considered? Oh. <laughs> No, they're not in the issue. Okay. Well, uh, is I know. That, this that, year, you never know what could happen next year. Yeah, right. I mean, that's not a. I mean, it was so weird the way that whole thing happened that and, I yeah. wouldn't be surprised if he was mentioned at least. Yeah. No, me neither. Yeah. But what what else in the magazine? There's other categories that you have for sexy men. Got lots of categories. We lo- we ask a lot of like our A-list Hollywood celebs like. Facing their fears, what are the things that they're most afraid of? And our outgoing sexiest man alive, Adam Levine, said he's afraid of dying because he loves his life so much. And we've got Idris Elba saying that he dreams that he's in the afterlife and um, he didn't get to do everything that he got to do, wanted to do. So because of that, he lives each day as if it's his last. Uh-huh. We've got guys with scruff. Oh, uh-huh. oh yeah, that's big, the scruff. Yeah. That's really hot right now. Right. Uh, Joel McHale and oh. Dylan McDermott. Yeah. Do, do you ever get a lot of backlash about someone that you've chosen? Um, no, I mean, um, I don't think so. I think there's always that someone who says, oh, it should have been him, it should have been someone else. Mm-hmm. But that happens every year, but we just hope that we try and satisfy as many people as possible. Oh. All right, so it's uh, People Magazine, Sexiest Man Alive edition out on the newsstands and also on your website, too. All kinds of fun We've stuff there. We've got lots of video from the photo shoot and oh, yeah. um, lots of behind-the-scenes stuff. So <laughs> check out the tablet and people.com as well. Yeah, let me tell you, Antoinette, you got a tough job. <laughs> I know, I know. I need help. Do you want to come over and help? Hey, you know, yeah, I, I'll take the next train down. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. All right, Antoinette. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Antoinette Colton from People Magazine. Thanks for talking to us this morning. Okay, great. Thanks a lot, guys.